Vacation's over on season two of The White Lotus. Not that it was a very happy vacation to begin with, but we're gonna talk about the ending together and not just Tanya's. Obviously, spoilers ahead. If you're watching this, you're obviously in the large percentage of the human population who has seen the second season of The White Lotus. But real quick, there's a few key details to mention before we get into the meat of this video. Ethan is married to Harper, who maybe probably did the dirty with Cameron, who's married to Daphne. Oh, and Ethan's kinda losing his mind over it. Albie's low-key dating a hooker who his dad got with at the beginning of the season. Ew. Albie was dating Tanya's assistant, Portia, but then Portia went off with some Australian dude while Tanya hung out with these gay guys who supposedly wanted to show her good time. So yeah, I guess that about covers it. It's pretty ridiculous. Let's get into the finale. So, in the finale, Albie bribes his dad into giving Lucia money. He says he'll put in a good word with his mom if his dad does this, and yeah, bribery works. Albie gets what he wants. He's out of line and awful about it, but he gets what he wants. In the end though, Lucia leaves him, like, as soon as she has the money, so like, go Lucia. Lucia's friend, Mia, also sleeps with Valentina, the manager of the hotel, and lands a job as the hotel's musician after she almost killed the first dude with the job. Go Mia. Anyway, Ethan and Harper fight about how Harper definitely didn't do the deed with Cameron. They just kissed, right? Who cares if there's like 10 minutes that are unaccounted for? But remember how we said Ethan was losing his mind? Yeah, he tries to drown Cameron in the ocean. Cameron fights back and we all thought this would be the big ocean death we've been waiting for since episode one, but no. Some tourist intervenes in their drama. Yay? Ethan tells Daphne that he thinks Harper and Cameron had an affair and the two of them definitely get back at their spouses in Isola Bella. Like, 100%. Look at their faces. Tanya tells Quentin that she found an old picture of him with a guy who looks exactly like her husband. The resemblance is uncanny. I mean, come on, Tanya. Put it together. But like, side note. For super dangerous criminal masterminds, these murderous gay guys are dumb as hell. You'd think they would know how to hide the picture of them with their literal co-conspirator, but maybe we're just better criminals than they are. That's bad, right? Anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Portia sneaks off and steals Australian Jack's phone to call Tanya, who's on the yacht with the gay guys. Portia's concerned, which is valid because Jack said that his uncle Quentin, who he got busy in the sheets with, yes, really, they're probably not related, uh, hopefully, has no money. Also, her phone is missing and the vibes are literally going to crap. This helps Tanya finally piece together that yes, these guys are trying to kill her for Greg's prenup money. Cool. Super awesome. That brings us to the biggest question of the season. Who died? Niccolo comes in the evening and he brings this mysterious black bag. Tanya's an idiot, but she's smart enough to grab it when no one is looking and see what's inside. She finds all the quirky, fun travel essentials. Garbage bags, rope, duct tape, you know, classic stuff. Perfect for fun under the Sicily sun. She also finds a gun, which she immediately uses to, uh, make a big splash. She mass murders almost everyone on the boat. And there we have it. Multiple hotel guests dead. Perfect. Close curtains and season, right? Wrong. Tanya's so close. She's so close. She just has to get onto the little dinghy that Niccolo brought and bring back to shore. Does she find a way to get to the boat safely? Does she use the stairs, perhaps? Does she jump into the water and swim to the boat like a logical person? Of course not. This is Tanya after all. She tries to climb over the railing and yeah. Boom, splat, Tanya down. She hits her head on the boat and drowns in the water. It's stupid and absurd and so Tanya. May she rest in peace. Although, we should have seen this coming. Remember when Albie, Portia, Bert, and Dominic were at that filming location for The Godfather? There's a car with a mannequin in it to represent Apollonia from The Godfather, who dies when the car explodes. Yeah, look at the mannequin's dress. Now, look at Tanya's dress in the finale. It's the same dress. That's some serious foreshadowing. With Tanya dead, lots of fans are asking, what's next? It was easy to assume that, since Jennifer Coolidge was the primary main character carried over from season one, upcoming seasons would be following her character's vacations at White Lotuses around the world. Now, unless they build a White Lotus on a graveyard, that's not going to happen. Poor Tanya. Seriously, we hope Greg gets none of that money. Since the season ends with Portia and Albie reconnecting at the airport, we could follow them on a vacation next year. Or the DeGrasso men could go on another vacation, this time with Albie's mom and siblings too. It's definitely a possibility. The biggest theory for upcoming seasons, though, involves Daphne and Cameron. On their last night, when they're having dinner with Harper and Ethan, they all toast to travel in the good life. Daphne adds on, to next year in the Maldives, and Cameron says, more scuba, less pasta. Could that be hinting at season three? Are we following Cameron and Daphne to the Maldives? This would be surprising, considering the fact that the last time Daphne stayed at a White Lotus hotel, she found a dead body in the ocean. Again, seriously, R.I.P. Tanya. But it makes the most sense. And are they gonna bring Harper and Ethan? We hope so. Harper and Ethan's marriage is great now. We definitely don't condone cheating on your spouse, but the White Lotus certainly does. And hey, there's no such thing as too much Aubrey Plaza.
So let us know what you guys think down in the comments. Not to be sadistic, but we can't wait to see more people get murdered in these hotels. Uh, just us?